Really? N nothing? Good morning from First Presbyterian Church in Carson City, Nevada, where we are opening the gospel to Carson City and beyond. It's the Mary and Sherry Show! <laughs> you know. Welcome, Dale. Good to have you. Good to be here. <laughs> well, let's get into it then. Mary is off adventuring as always. Uh, she will be back next week. We have something very special planned for next week. Very, very special. Please make sure to watch next week. You're going to love it. So, things that are happening and going to happen... We just had our Star Wars movie night. We had our family fun day out at Latin Farms. Blast for both of those. You're going to see some great pictures of the trumpet. We have a few things coming up. This coming Saturday is the crafting event from 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. We have asked for people to sign up. So if you have not but you're interested, would you please contact me at the church office and I will get you on there. There is a limited number and it is filling up. Breakfast and dinner will be provided. We also have our West Side Walkers. That's Monday and Thursday every week at 8 a.m. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. Come out and join us. It's just a leisurely walk around the West Side. Also coming up in October, the last Saturday of the month, I believe that's the 30th, is Nevada Day Parade. Donald Scherer is heading up our Cookies, Cocoa, and Christ. I'm going to read what it says here. He is preparing for it. It's a great outreach because half of Nevada is here, and they're just, just down the street from us. People are parking all over here and going that way. If you'd like to help by baking cookies or helping to serve that day or provide other things that might be needed, Donald will be available during the coffee hour on Sunday in the Family Life Center. Everybody knows Donald. Yay! Find him. One thing, though, it has been specified. I've got this all in caps and bright red. No nuts. I'm assuming that has to do with allergies and not wanting to hurt anybody who might come by. So please, no nuts, no peanut butter, none of that sort. Right? Right. Thank you, Dale. Also coming up in October, actually tomorrow, this guy gets on the honor flight for Washington, D.C. to thank him for his service in the military. So let's all give Dale a big cheer. Yay! Thank I, you. <laughs> I imagine you're a little excited. Yes, I am. You served in the? Navy. Go Navy. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a Navy brat myself. So did you spend time on a ship? Several. Really? Yes. What, can you give us a little rundown? Uh, my first assignment was on uh, destroyer, the Richard B. Anderson DD-786 in the late 60s. Then I was on an ammunition ship, AE-16, the Mount Katmai. And finally, I was a plank owner on the USS Tarawa LHA-1. You were a what? Plank owner. Plank owner. I thought I heard that. Plank owner. What's a plank owner? Plank owner is... a. Uh, you're on the original crew when the ship was commissioned. Oh, wow. So, Neat. Yeah, my, my dad... Pascagoula, Mississippi. Cool. My dad was an air traffic controller. That's how we ended up here in Fallon. <laughs> <laughs> Join the Navy. Go to Fallon, Nevada. So, um, but thank you and have a lot of fun. I just will. Just enjoy that so much. Wow, this guy, you just, you can't get him to shut up. I mean, it's just... We've covered the October events, and um, so let's move on to November events. On my notes, it has, says here, some vow renewal thing, November 7th, and uh, <laughs> that one's a little special to me. So here's what's happening on November 7th after church. As you all know, Joe and I got married last year, November 7th, and we made the choice to get married during the pandemic. November 7th is important to us. It's a special date for us. And we didn't want to wait a year and see what happened. And so because of that, we weren't able to have all the people surrounding us that we wanted to. And we really, really wanted to invite our entire church family and just celebrate with them. So 
after church on November 7th, we are renewing our vows just to be surrounded by your love. After that, I believe the deacons are giving us a cake. And so there'll be cake in the Family Life Center. And I'm hoping, again, those of you who've been following along know we bought a house and we're renovating the house around us and we're currently getting floors. So there are floors in the living room as of last night. Yay! But most of our house is kind of packed up in boxes in the garage. And just a shout out to Connie Stanton who quilted us a beautiful quilt. It was my hope that I'd have everybody who wanted to from the church to sign it with a fabric marker. And of course that didn't happen last year. We did have our guests that did come to our wedding sign it. But if I can find that quilt, I want to have it here. And I'd love to have you just sign a little something that we can keep over the years because we hope that we'll have many, many anniversaries to come after this. We'd just love to, to share this special moment in our life with you. You might be more excited about the next November one though because November 21st is the Deacon's Thanksgiving dinner and we didn't have it last year because of the pandemic but yum right? It's always good. What's your favorite? Mashed potatoes and gravy. Mm. Uh, yeah I'd have a hard time. Before I was gluten-free I loved Costco pumpkin pies. Now I have to make my own, but I, I do copycats. I have a Costco pumpkin, pumpkin pie at all. Oh. I'm officially jealous. <laughs> <laughs> and then I like a lot of Cool Whip on mine too. Do you do Cool Whip or just no. eat it straight? Oh, Just straight. I could just take a tub of Cool Whip, take a bite, just dip it in there. <laughs> <That'd be mine. laughs> Hey, another November event, Sunday, November 14th. Get this, we have yet another Covenant Partner class that Bob is, is leading. So if you are watching this and you're not yet a Covenant Partner, you can take this class on Sunday, November 14th. It's following the service. It's going to be in the Fellowship Hall, which is the room directly below Aunt Betty's studio. Make a note on a card and drop it in the offering plate, or you can call the office, 882-1032. I'll have that information in the description below. And let us know that you intend on attending. That way we'll have all the materials that we need for that. Also, starting in November, it's a busy month. As we head towards Advent, things pick up pretty quick. It is getting cold out there. November 1st, night off the streets. Knots is starting. It will start out at... St. Teresa's Catholic Church. This is a wonderful opportunity to volunteer and help out. If you call the office, we can give you that information. We have a video listed on our site here. You can look at that. There are training events along with that, and we'll have that information in the description also. So take a look down there. Would you like to keep up? All right. Thank you. Aunt Betty Studio Announcements. We are well into season two of both Faye Wheeler's The Story Behind the Hymn and Dan Skinkus's I've Got a Story to Tell. Tomorrow, season two, episode three will be posted by noon. Season two, episode I Don't Know What of Dan's will be posted this Friday at noon. Both well worth it. Please take a look. Have you watched any of those? Yes, we have. Yeah. They're really good, good. huh? Yeah. I've learned a lot of things about hymns that I, I had no idea. Me too. It's really surprising, some of the info about it. Yeah, yeah. If you did not catch the great cloud of witnesses from this, this past Monday, there was an email that went out yesterday sharing that link. It's worth going back to find. So that's a little special offset of the normal great cloud of witnesses. And I think that brings us to all of the announcements. Sounds good. They, thank you for all of your help today. I know you couldn't have done it without me. You said that. It is YouTube. So we invite you to like, subscribe, and... Ring the bell. Ring the bell. <laughs> have a great week. God bless. Take care. Uh, 
um, uh, um, 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 um,